goofball. Samantha here. Where's she at? There she is. We're headed to the beach. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some fishing. Samantha's going fishing. It's gonna be exciting. So Samantha's perking up. Perking up. She wasn't so perky earlier. I've eaten now. That's always key to perking me up. She gets hangry. She's hangry. Being late to the beach means you gotta buy cigar minnows. So I gotta buy some cigar minnows and then we're gonna head out. Can't catch bait this late. I can feel that morning heat. It's like a small oven just getting warmer and warmer. Heave ho, Samantha. You see this muscle, Jack? Get it going that way. Hopefully I didn't work out today. <laughs> it's worked at Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> All right, ready? There you go. All right, I'll shove you off. Oh, I got one of your poles. I forgot to put it back in. All right, and we're off. It's probably kind of frozen. Just kind of go up through the lip, back out. Make sure it's not kinked up there. You know, like straighten it out. There you go. And then put it, you know, yeah, straighten the top right there. Make sure your drag's kind of loose, just in case something really big hits it. You know, and get it back there like 30, 50 yards, you know, a good little distance back there. Like, it's really not a dis difference of like how close, like, like the, you know, king gets to the kayak. It's not like he's going to spook. It's that if like a tarpon hits it, like he doesn't land on you. All right, hardhead, I'm going to let you learn the hard way. But you know more about this than I do. Sometimes Samantha forgets she's got to listen. Sometimes she she thinks she knows more about it than I do. We all know how that feeling is. But she'll, I'm going to let her learn the hard way. It's going to be funny. <laughs> she doesn't quite understand that a tarpon could erupt right behind her. You got you a remora, Samantha. That's a remora? Yeah. Stick him to your leg. Oh, he de-hooked himself. Yay! <laughs> got, a, got a fish. I'm not skunk today, guys. Not skunk. A new cigar minnow. So this guy is probably going to hang right underneath the boat. See, he's right there. So, like, don't drop your bait in the water right next to your kayak. Like, paddle away. You got about one, two, three, four, five, six left. So we've been fishing for about 30 minutes now and Samantha is getting hammered by the remoras. Even if this catfish, I'll take those too. She loves catfish, she even saltwater catfish. Adventurous. Adventurous, it's an adventurous Saturday. We got our stuff to say all day and I just see some dolphins. I see some dolphins, Samantha. See, look at over there. When in doubt, cigar minnow it out, even if it's trash fish. <laughs> Jet skier doesn't see the diver down flag. Went right through it. So if you didn't notice, there's a diver down flag right there. The jet skier just blew through it. There's like probably 10 divers underneath there. And it's probably maybe 10 feet of water. But you gotta get him right when he takes it. Yeah. Sorry, son of a gun. They do fight kind of decent though. They've officially stolen almost all of our bait. We got like one more cigar minnow left. The parasites. Ooh leeches on them. Go away. Down he goes. Go. 
as you flip it, and then it flips. I thought that was locked. Yeah, it's confusing. Oh, I've been riding it like that. <laughs> Good fall. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you almost stole your drawer, Samantha. Gosh, talk about a thong right there. That's funny. It would have been funnier if it would have ripped them. Had to go home. Almost had to go home on that one. Samantha almost ripped her pants on the, uh, on the outback. So that game warden almost ran over that person swimming out there. There was no diver down flag, but it was on the snorkel reef. So ah, it's kind of a gray area because it's four snorkelers. But uh, he sure enough almost hit him. He was running right down the transition line, right where everybody is swimming, full speed. So that was a little close. Oh, it was good. I caught a remora, got uh, my bait stolen a lot of times. So at least I know something was happening. I hate not catching anything, but it was good. I carry all this. She carries this. Like, but we gotta come back for the. What's your explanation, Samantha? Well, you have bigger muscles than I do, so. <laughs> We're almost there, Samantha. One of the most interesting things to do when you're driving back along Pensacola Beach is count all the stuck people. Because everybody wants to park in the sand and they don't have four-wheel drive. Even the dudes with four-wheel drive don't realize that sand, it's got you. Right, Samantha? It's very deep. Oh, yeah, Stuck person stuck. number three. But you know what? When in doubt, Sushi Masa it out. Because that's where we're going. Right, Samantha? Sushi Masa, our favorite. We haven't been there in so long. It is the best sushi joint in Pentacle. And I think I got a little sunburned. But anyways, you know, stay motivated. Drink water. All right, so we're at our favorite sushi spot, Sushi Masa. It's all you can eat sushi. Like, gorge yourself, 25 bucks with an adult beverage and dessert. It is so good. It's like really good sushi and not the type of sushi you would think you'd get at all you can eat. It's like a lot of meat and really fancy fun rolls. For all you can eat, this is, look how much meat. Look how much meat's in these. That's a lot of meat. For all you can eat, That's not a lot, a lot of, of rice is good. That's a lot of meat. You guys should check it out. That's 